working? Let's see. People's be coming Free in. I wonder if people get a notification for this. Oh, I think it's sent out a tweet. Let me see. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah oh. It's, sent, it's sent out a tweet. We're here. Dope. All right, cool. We're here. What's going on, everybody? I think this is like the first or second time we've ever done a Twitter live stream. So what's up? Yeah, we've barely done live streams. Do you guys like when we do live streams? Should we do this more often? Well, we're going to because it's quarantine. Are you guys bored? Because I'm pretty pretty bored lately. Yes. Been crying in my room every single day. I hear him because I'm right next door. Sam has to drag me out at 8 a.m. every single day because I'm just bawling my eyes out by myself. <laughs> it's pretty sad. But, yeah, um, I did get a notification. Hey. Hey. Okay, well, then, we're here. We got 2K people watching. What's up, folks? Happy quarantine time. What um, are you guys doing right now? For the quarantine, just laying around. Yeah, let us know what, what your day is Every like. Day. Laying Band down, talks. TikToks, eating a lot of food. We're gonna be fat by the end of this quarantine. Yeah, we are. Can I? The gyms are closed. It's so bright. Is there filters? No. Nope, there's not. All right, never mind. All right. What? Oh. What are you doing, dude? All right, then. Right. There we go. <laughs> hey guys, we don't know how to Twitter live. Sorry, so. this is our first time ever doing this. Sorry. All right, let's go through some questiones. Um, <sighs> all right, so if you want to ask, just hashtag Sam and Colby at home, because we're at home right now, all right? Um, what the heck was that? What happened to the dildo? <laughs> ask Gambit Ka. Um... What did happen to that? So we had a dildo at our last house, and... It's been a year since we've seen that thing, dude. Corey and Devin... Here's a story. I don't know if I've ever told anybody this, but Corey and Devin got really mad at me one day because I was putting the dildo on the wall because I could, like, stick to things, and Navi would, like... <laughs> Navi the and, like, dog. Yeah, Navi would go and, like, jump and bite it. And they got so mad because I was posting it on my story. Yeah, because uh, I mean, it looked really bad. So they might have thrown it away. After I that. think they probably did. I mean, that thing like looked like something you get out of the dumpster. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, oh yeah, this is a huge question everyone wants to say. Uh, at Num Colby says, "Are you bringing back the prank wars?" Everyone wants to know. Ooh, so we were talking about this, um, and maybe. On something like TikTok, we might do like a lot more pranks, but um, for YouTube videos, yeah, we'll do pranks here and there, but you know, prank wars are like 40 different pranks. It's like hard to think of. Plus, each time. prank wars was a thing in like 2017. It's 2020. Yeah. We're going to up and new, we got to make new things in this house. So yeah. even if we aren't doing a prank war, we're going to be doing other types of competitions in this house true true we might be doing pranks on tiktok like yeah said, yeah so. but there will be pranks for sure but just maybe no wars unless we on do it with YouTube. another house yeah whatever we're gonna do we're gonna do it different and better because we can't go back to 2007 you can't live in the past you gotta uh, up the ante in the present there you in go the future uh, uh, all right Here's a good one. Ooh. Any advice on how to stay motivated to work during quarantine? I have lost all motivation to do anything. To do anything? Um, I think it's a lot of just, like, what you, uh, like, occupy yourself with throughout the day. So if you're, you know, laying around and watching TV all day, which has been me during a lot of the quarantine, then you're going to be in more of, like, a lazy, like, unmotivated mindset. But, like... If you just try to pre or like occupy your mind with something else, like keeping busy with you know either going outside or picking up a new hobby that you want to learn, that might make you feel like you're doing something more productive. Yeah. Therefore, be less bored. There's a like if you just get in the habit of like watching TV or waking up late and stuff because you feel like it's on vacation or like things are changing, then yeah, you're gonna lose a lot of motiv motivation. But if you like stick with your same schedule, and let's say you 
woke up for school at eight in the morning, if you, instead of waking up at noon now, still wake up at eight thirty or nine or whatever and do something, get ready and start like, you know, yeah. achieve your goals, you're going to continue that habit. But if you go back to vacation mindset, you're going to be living on vacation, have yeah. no motivation. And think about it like this. Everybody in the world is dealing with this. So first of all, you're not alone. Second of all, most people, like most every single people that I've talked to or like I've seen, like my friends are just kind of like, eh, you know what? This is quarantine time. I'm going to take this time to like be less productive and stop posting whatever. Like instead, you can have the mindset of, hey, this is some downtime where I can focus on being the best person I can be. And then once all this shit is over, I'll be on time. Yeah, because think about it. Normally, let's say all that extra time that you would be spending on other friends or going out or other people like trying to call you or, hey, probably even like more homework or work just because there's probably less going on right now. Yeah. You can spend all that extra time being selfish and like spending it on yourself. Like all those True. things that you wanted to do in the past or didn't have time for. Self care, guys. This is the time for self care. Why not? Um, True. Dang, we just went on a rant. That was an inspirational little talk there. That was. Everybody. Uh, so Zara asks, what are the chances of more explore videos? Please be honest, but not too honest. I'm desperate but sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> be honest but not too honest. Well, as most everybody knows, we got in a little uh, pickle a few, not a few years ago, last year. Uh, so we obviously got to keep things legal. Uh, and a lot of the exploring stuff is breaking in or like hopping fences. But not all of it. But not yeah. all of it. So maybe. Yeah, definitely. We just got to be smart, guys. Like, I definitely want to do stuff like explore caves or like cool, yeah, like cool stuff like that. Places that we can do legally and that are have a lot of cool history yeah. why not yeah they're coming back well, that's why not because like, we're gonna change things up like we said the florida series was probably one of the finales of that era and now we have you know a lot of time at home to rethink our channel and figure out what's next yeah so if explores what you guys want to see obviously we're going to give it to you just legally <laughs> yeah. i'm a same bitch classy OG, next. What's happening? Are you guys surprised that I learned that dance? Yo, he killed it. I've been learning. How, are you guys subscribed to our TikTok or following it? What, whatever it is. I'm new to TikTok. Guys, we are going hard. See, that's how, okay, going back to that question, that's how we're, like, occupying our time, is we have been posting a lot on TikTok. So if you aren't watching, what are you doing? But, um, and now we're also making a lot more YouTube videos, too, because we have to film four a week instead of, like, yeah, one or two. Yeah, true, true. So it's just, like, a lot more... Like, we have a goal being here as yeah. a house, which makes things easier. Yes, working towards a goal makes things easier. Oh, here's a good one. Char. Charmander. Charmander asks, "Are what happened to all of the Colby cutouts? <gasps> oh, my God. So... This is a funny story. This is not... It is so we were moving them from our old apartments to this house and uh, across the ocean to Hawaii. And uh, when we came here, I was filming one video. And you guys, I don't know if you saw this, but Jake threw one of them in the water. And so that's what happened in the first one. Oh, he, yeah. he just sogged up and drowned. But why, why were they all outside? So initially, I thought cardboard would be strong enough. <laughs> And I didn't think to put it under anything. Like, I didn't think to put it under, like, the tiki, giant tiki hut we have right there or any trees, whatever. I just, like, left them on the side, like, on the fence. And then it rained really bad this week, and I totally forgot. So I went outside, and they were all just, like, dissolved into nothing. Right. So. So, basically, all the Colbys have died. They're gone. They're gone. That is really sad. So sad. Look, guys, you want to see something funny? Let's make ourselves super wide. Oh my god! Wide. Actually, it, oh my! Oh, oh! Wait, did it fix itself? It's fixing. It looks like we're like going in radiation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do we look so? Uh, I feel like this looks very orangey. Like. Yeah. It's because we're in Hawaii. That's why. Like. It's really bright on my face. It makes my entire face look like it's like an orange. 
like an orange, orange after sitting. Guys, in a tent we look tan for, for being inside every single day, all day. Um, Maybe it's a tan filter. No, Jesse, I, explore. Sorry, what were you saying? I said I hate this. Oh, you hate. Why, why'd you Why'd you do it then? Look at how white I am. Look at how white I am. I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. I right, keep doing it. All right, Jesse Explorer says, does it feel like old times being in the house together, or is it somehow different? Oh, my gosh. I was just thinking about this yesterday. Oh, my God. This Voice is crack. such a weird lighting system. Anyway. It is. But um, definitely love this house so much and love being with the roommates a lot. But I was just thinking to myself, it is awesome, but it is different. Like, it's not going to feel the same as, like, like, in, oh my God. <laughs> Anytime you move, once you're like, uh, I don't know, like maybe you guys are moving now or like if you're older, like moving around, like it's a different scenario each time. So it's definitely different, but in some good ways. Yeah. Well, I, I try not to envision this being the same feeling as the last one because I wanted it to be a different thing. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, it's definitely different. And I think especially the last, like, week, it's been raining, and also we're in quarantine, so it's, like, the whole vibe and mood of everything is much different than Last House. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but I think it's going to be better. I mean, especially once we get out of this whole, like, COVID-19 situation, it's going to be great. Yeah, once we're going to have people over. Plus, we're all getting along really well and working really hard. Um, at the so end for of me the and Jake, I have fought Jake at how many steps. Really? You fought him? About what? What was the main thing you fought him about other than Pac-Man? Pac-Man? Your uh, arcade game, Dig Dug. Dig Dug. Oh what? my god, we looked horrible. Um, Why did you open up the lights? <laughs> we should change this. <laughs> Our, the entire live stream. <laughs> still looks bad, dude. Uh, Alright, here. What, what, what were you just saying? I was just in the middle of saying something. Oh, what do you, what do you, what do you fight with uh, Jake about? <laughs> um, oh, yeah. So we have Dig Dug, and he keeps getting a higher score than me. And we're, like, getting into pro level. Like, I'm not kidding. Trying to get 100,000 <laughs> points on Dig Dug. Everyone's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Do it. And if you can do it, you're a pro like me. You're a pro like him because you get 100,000 points on Dig Dug. <laughs> All right, let me get some. But, so what do you fight about? Or is that the I, only thing it, you fight? it pisses me off that he spends eight so hours So that's not a, a fight. Dude. It's that's, a fight. Are you serious? I'm pissed off at him. Actually, like you're genuine. Like deep down when you I'm, wake up in the morning, you're like, I don't want to see Jake because he pissed me off last Sometimes night. I can't look him in the eyes. Because he beat you at Dig Dug. <laughs> because he has the new high score that I'm going to beat. Uh, you're passionate about this, man. It's so dark now. Do you like it better like this? Yeah, that's good. Oh my god, man. There. Oh, that's, that's good. Was. Oh, that looks great. All right. Um. <laughs> this girl says, everyone tells me I look like Colby. You do look like that. Do I? Yeah. Well, you don't have glasses or lipstick. I guess I have the shaped head. And blonde hair, too. All right. So you're saying it's not very close. I don't think that's close at all. <laughs> I think you're an idiot. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. No. I'm kidding. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find a good one, mate. A good one, mate? What's Dig Dug? Whoa! Hey! You Ask your, ask your dad. Yeah, ask your dad. Ask your dad. <laughs> ask your dag on dig ask dug. Your dag on dig dug. <laughs> All right, Tamara asks, does Colby have Tamara. a spot like his balcony to sit in the new house and tweet his deep ass tweets? Have you tweeted off your balcony yet? I haven't because guys, it's a different feeling on this balcony. Oh, so you don't like your balcony now? I don't know if I like it for the same reasons. <laughs> I don't know. Why I said it like that. So where's your but. balcony tweeting spot? Right here on your... I literally, yeah, if, if I'm in here or in my master bed, in my master bedroom, I'll be in here laying down, tweeting with my legs up on my king-size bed. <laughs> wow, you just flexed on all of them so hard. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. Woo! 
no, actually, yeah, I'll do it in here, but, like, this balcony is way too open. It's like, like, my other one had, like, a corner that I could hide in, so this one's harder to do. Okay. <laughs> wow. You, you were so adamant <laughs> about getting this balcony, and now you don't even like it? Uh, no, I, I, I like it. I like it. But, for like, I sit out there every night. Okay. But it's not, like, a... But eight not, hours a night thing you know you didn't realize how long i sat it's not like parking. cornering well i feel yeah. like you had to get in the corner in your apartment but you could be all around this house in different areas if you want to true true so i am and options. i hang out a lot more yeah you downstairs do, yeah. like most nights i'm downstairs so i'm doing better all right um come on let me get let me get uh, let me get sam are you used to your new hair Oh, ask rim job, rim. Wait, rim job asked you said? <laughs> oh, rim, nice. <laughs> um, yeah, a little bit. What the frick, dude? I was just trying to show my hair. It's like uh, getting lighter by the day every time I shampoo, so it's definitely different. But no, I'm getting used to it. I'm finally figuring out how to wear clothes with it and not feel like I look like a weirdo. If that makes any sense. But all right, we're back to the darkness. You can't see my hair. <laughs> Dude, that was too dark. It was too dark. Um, Twitter's got to figure out their freaking live stream because that's way too bright. Very true. Very true. Even yeah, sitting yeah, in a yeah, pitch yeah, dark yeah. room, this is like pretty decent. Rimjob asks, can you guys bring back the Explore masks? Now, guys, I don't know if you uh, know this, but if we dropped masks right now, everybody would kill us because they think we're just like you know profiting off like the pandemic or whatever but we will bring them back eventually yes but after COVID-19 or if we do it we're gonna have to like either give them out for free or donate all the profits or anything like that like we could do that but as of right now I feel like too many people hate people that are releasing masks oh my gosh they get scrutinized even though it would help even though a lot of people want masks to be able to reuse and rewear and wash Everyone hates people that does that, so sorry, we can't do it. True, true, true. But I want to add that we were the first ones on social media to start wearing those masks. Eh? Eh? Look at, look look, at the facts. Look two, back at our two YouTube Two and a half videos. years ago, we started. We did. We were the first ones. All right. Um, I'm going to take that to our grave. <laughs> Um, this is really important, but do you guys like Snoop Dogg? Is he your king too? I like, I like him. Uh, I like him. I, I love how he features on every single song ever. Yeah. <laughs> like dude. he basically Ricky has a Dylan song. song? He's, he has a feature on like all these random people who you don't even know, like their song. I love dude. That. Yes, I love Snoop Dogg. He's, he's funny too. Yeah, look up, um, Magic by Ricky Dillon and Snoop Dogg. <laughs> magic, Online. magic, magic, tragic, tragic, tragic. tragic. Like, it's a beautiful song. Um, oh, this is a great question, Dakota. Um, what are some challenges you think the next generation will have to face? Uh, global depression. Global depression, and that sounds really harsh, but it's true. I mean, not, not in an emotional way, in an economic way is what I meant. Really, I'm thinking emotional. I think emotionally, well. they're going to have, like, a detachment of, like, human stuff. They're going to need human interaction. But also for the next decade, because I think people are going to get over that in, like, a year. But, like, for the next generation, we're going to have to deal with, like, the you, I mean, like stock market crash in 1929. All the people in the 30s for a whole 10 years had to deal with lower pay and all this stuff. And I think that's going to suck. So, I don't know. Um, I would say they are going to be depressed for a different reason with, like, social media and stuff. With the new age of social media happening right now, literally, like, the next generations, like, the next group of high schoolers, and even kids right now are, like, yeah. sad because of comparing themselves constantly. It's, it's just going to be, it's going to be hard for them. It's going to be hard being, like, six years old and having an iPad and 200,000 followers on Instagram. What's going to be really weird, too, is I was just reading about this yesterday. AI is probably going to hit in the lifetime of this or next generation. 
and AI is basically artificial intelligence. It's going to like take over <laughs> jobs everywhere. And I don't know, conspiracy theory, maybe I'll make a video on it, but like, oh my God, we're going to have to deal with robots in our next generation. It's going to be awesome, but horrible at the same time. We'll be fine, Think guys. About it. Don't worry. Yeah, don't. Yeah, it's going to be many, many years before that happens, so you got time. No worries. Confirm that the trap house is no longer the trap house and is now a TikTok house. Well, we are the trap what, house. That is a TikTok house. What was the trap house? Was, that, was, it, was the trap house a YouTube house and now this is a TikTok house? Apparently. We do get more views on our TikToks than we do on our... Yeah, YouTube what's up with that? Hey, we got more views on our YouTube than we'd be YouTubers, you know what I'm saying? Kind of tiny, guys. And also, TikTok wasn't even a thing. When we were in uh, the Tramp House, there was a little beautiful app called Musical.ly. Musical.ly and oh, Flipagram. <laughs> yeah, we had... Oh my god, Flipagram. And Vine and Byte and all these trash... Dude, we apps. were doing TikTok when Musical.ly first came out. And I'm talking those... Those baby Ariel, Jacob Sartorius days, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, also, guys, big announcement. Uh, we said this in, on our tweets earlier today, but if you haven't heard, we are still going on tour this year, but we're going to go on tour in November. So oh, yeah. if you've already purchased a ticket, it's all good. The dates have just switched over to November. We're still going on tour. Everything's going as planned, just different dates. So sorry about that. We are postponing, obviously, just for the health of everyone. We have to. We have to, guys. Anything really else coming choice. up this week? Oh, man. New YouTube videos? New YouTube video? I'm still posting today. Don't worry, guys. I'm waiting for Reggie. So if you guys want to all give him a little nudge. Hello. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm waiting for Reggie, but as soon as I get the video, I will upload it for today. And we're also posting a lot of TikToks today. We hit 300K on TikTok today, so we're going to do our 300K special. So get ready for that. Go follow us on TikTok. And that also means we're getting drunk. Yes, because every 100,000 followers, we take another shot. <laughs> so today's three. That's kind of... Hope you guys are ready for that. Please, God. Maybe we should resume this live stream at 9 o'clock at night when we're all like, yeah. That would be fun. Oh, God. Let us know if you guys want us to be um, all right, maybe you should go call Reggie. I'll get call a get Reg. up, uh, get a tube. We call Reg, so Guys, I can get a tube for my for my hands. Stay safe, stay happy, stay motivated. It's okay. Work on yourself, self care. Here we go. Try Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Follow the rules. Stay at home. You'll be good. Try guys. to stay active. Stay working out because that'll honestly keep you happy. I swear to God. Even if it's just taking a walk. Even if it's taking a walk or doing 10 jumping jacks. It's better than nothing. I'll tell you that. Or Sam likes to do the warm naked on the hardwood floor downstairs. I do. I do. And I make sure that everyone's watching and filming. But that's another channel <laughs> that we'll tell you about later in life. <laughs> uh, we gotta go, guys. Um, but... We'll see you guys. Maybe we'll do more live streams like this. I like this. I like this, too. This feels good. I like it. I feel like it's a little laggy, but hey, that's good. Cool. It is a little laggy, but Twitter will fix it. Let's go take three shots. Bye! Peace.